So, what does it take to get this asset running? Um, first of all, you need to set up Unity XR settings. So, you go to fi uh, yeah, File, Build Settings, Player Settings, and then Virtual Reality Supported under the XR Settings tab. Check that and make sure you have the SDKs. And if you've got that, the only thing you need then is something for the tracking. So, um, because Unity doesn't have the components that allow tracking by default, you would have to either write a script, which I didn't because it's much more reliable if I use the the ones that were provided by Unity. And that would be in the window, then package manager, and then the XR setting, XR legacy input helpers. You can find them and get them. It's very simple. Install them. And that's basically all you need to do. You go to scenes, double click the sample scene, and yeah, that's basically it. You can just start it and it will start automatically what kind of system you have. If you have like Oculus, I think I think it will start its own. I have the HTC Vive and yeah, so it it will just start the HTC Vive stuff. As you can see it just my my headset is flying around there. I'll just uh, yeah, give it a, a bump. Yeah, as you can see, I'm in this scene. So, um, that's the sample scene. But what if you want to create a new scene? Let's say you create a new scene, right? The first thing you want to get rid of is the normal main camera because you're creating for VR. Game object, 3D, make a plane, a ground, some. Some kind of ground is needed, of course, if you want to use items that don't fall through the world. So you go back to the package, and there you will find XR Rig, right? This is where your camera is connected, so you just drop it in there. It's placed in the center. It has the VR camera, and each of these tracking devices has these track post drivers, those are the things you import through the package manager. You most likely should have it already though if you're developing for VR. So yeah it says like that it's developing, that it's using the head or which controller it's using. And in the hands you have these little hand objects um, which are basically just small spheres that I use to simulate hands or make it them as a symbol. And the next thing, well, you could actually already start, but that would have been, wouldn't be really interesting. So what I'm going to drop in is the dynamic uh, quick access inventory. So here we go. I drop it under left. No, actually, I'm using the right hand. No, no I'm going to use the left hand. So I drop it in there. And as you can see, it has the dynamic. Yeah, It's basically an inventory that I added and you put it over here as you can see it shows these little circles here or, or little symbols basically what they do is um, the places where the dynamic quick access inventory which I showed in the demo scene um, will be placed at the, the inventory slots you can also make like how much space is in between them and stuff like that so yeah Good. The next thing you definitely need to do is assign it a hand. Each hand object here has a circular and rigid body. Rigid body is set to kinematic because uh, you don't want it to interfere, or I don't want it to inter interfere with physics. And basically, what uh, this is all needed for the hand script because it makes the attachment to um, other items and inventory slots possible. So, yeah, just take s take this hand object, insert it into the dynamic quick access inventory, and maybe drop some items so you can actually try if it works, right? Okay, now that's that's it, and 
started as you can see my camera is still working and you will, won't hear me now but as you because my microphone on the table is not the one I have on the VR headset That's basically it. Thanks for watching and have a good one.